Welcome to the Root of Power podcast, where I teach you how to step into your power, find alignment, and create a life that you love using holistic methods, interviews with industry leaders, and inspiring stories from people who know that true freedom is found within. I'm your host and health and wellness bestie, Amanda Chills, and I'm so proud of you for choosing to step into the root of your power. Hello, 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 my podcast fam. You know, I probably need like another way to say hi. Um, So podcast fam, like whatever you guys want to hear. Let me know, I guess, if you want me to do like a, if I'm going to like, I don't know, cluck like a chicken or talk to you in like a whale voice that would be fun um any who's it's hello I hope you're doing well and I hope if you're not that you have the chance to rest and decompress um we are going to talk today about getting the basics right and why if you don't have your basics dialed in it's pretty hard to do all the higher level stuff that you're wanting But before we do that, a word from our sponsors. Hi, actually the sponsor is me. It's just me. (laughs) Uh, I have got a free thing for you because I want to help you. And because I have knowledge that may be useful for you. So if you head to my website, livemyhappyhealth.com, you will find a free three-step guide to start changing your life. Um, Go get it because it's good and probably if you're listening to a personal development podcast you want some things to be different which I totally get and kudos to you for doing so. Okay now back to the basics. So I wanted to do an episode on this because I think a lot of people miss the basics and they miss the part of life where you're doing all this higher level stuff and you're trying affirmations and journaling and you know working out and eating well and and some of those are basics but some of them aren't um but they're not built on a foundation like that's one of the reasons that I think new year's resolutions fail is because you're trying to change all of these things without even having a baseline foundation of practices that support you and help you get to your best damn life. So when I'm talking about basics, right, and there's a point where like if you don't have these dialed in, you actually have no foundation. So just like you want a really strong foundation on your house, you want a really strong foundation of anchor behaviors that then you can build on. So like, for example, Dwayne Johnson talks a lot about this. Um, Also, side note, if you know Dwayne Johnson, introduce me to him because he is awesome. And I literally have a picture of him in my kitchen. Um, Please don't tell him that because that would be creepy, but now it's out in the world, I guess. So anyway, if you know Dwayne Johnson, introduce me to him. I want to be his friend. And where were we before I got on the Dwayne Johnson train? Ah, he talks a lot about anchors and how the gym is an anchor for him. And so come hell or high water, he is hitting the gym because it centers him, because it grounds him, because it really, again, anchors his day and his life. And it's one of the constants and it's one of the things that are non-negotiable. And it's a basic, right? He can do all this crazy stuff because he has the basics dialed in he has a nutritionist his meals are planned out he gets outside he gets quality sleep like we're gonna talk about all of this speaking of sleep your girl's yawning um so he's someone who really really dialed in their anchors and so your anchors are going to be the foundation of your happy best life of your highest self and so if you're like wow I shit man I don't have any freaking anchors (laughs) like I don't have any practices that um help me I'm so scatterbrained then I want you to go back two episodes and listen to the time blocking episode because that is really going to help you figure out what you need to prioritize what your non-negotiables are or because you don't have to do anything that I say and listen to this and then go back and listen to it or never listen to it whatever but it may be helpful So when we're talking about the foundations, there are five 
foundations and they are simple because they are foundations so here they are and then we'll talk about them in depth drink your water get sunlight chase the sun like go chase the sun sleep sleep more you're probably sleep deprived sleep do things that you enjoy eat more vegetables and high quality protein those are the five so why are those the five well because if you are not supporting your physical health you cannot do anything else there is a saying that says i can enjoy twenty dollars in good health more than someone can enjoy twenty thousand dollars in poor health your health is everything your physical and mental health is everything you cannot enjoy your life if those are not dialed in and those five things dial those things in doing things you enjoy can only come after your other stuff being dialed in if you don't get enough sunlight if you are not eating well if you're not sleeping you literally don't have the energy to do things that you enjoy doing because you're too burned out being in survival mode these basics without hesitation without like y'all I'm telling you, your basics have to be dialed in. When I start working with someone, I don't even, like it's one of the things that we touch on multiple times in our relationship is, are you getting outside? Do you eat real, non-packaged, from the earth food? Are you sleeping? Do you turn off the TV while you're sleeping? Like all of these things matter. Are you drinking water? Like really the amount of people that are dehydrated is insane. No LaCroix don't count. No beer and wine don't count. Drink actual fucking water. Like drink water. I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care if you're like, oh my God, it has no taste. I don't give a shit. Like I don't care. Drink water. If you are one or 2% dehydrated, you see a massive loss in your ability to function. Forget about your mental health. These are the things that have such a strong play because you can't make neurotransmitters. You, your body cannot function if you're not doing these basic, basic foundational anchor things. So again, I'm going to repeat them because they're super freaking important. Drink water. Eat real from the earth food. They have feet, they have a hoof, they are grown in the ground foods. Chase the sunlight. Most people spend 96% of their day inside. Y'all, that is insane. That means people are only getting outside an hour a day and you may be getting out less than that because I'm pretty sure that counts time in your car. Like get outside, expose your skin to sunlight. It is one of the most powerful things that you can do you don't have to do anything else just sit in the sun obviously don't burn don't at me with your sunscreen bullshit right go in the sun sleep one of the most transformational things that you can do for your life is sleep sleep more most people are like oh my god i can't really get by on four or five hours no you can't no you can't friend you are lying no you can't Like, mm -mm, nope, you need more sleep. Well, six hours is really good for me. Okay, but you can't focus and your body can't digest food and you're exhausted all the time. So that is a lie. You want to sleep more, which means turn your TV off. Blue light Fs your hormones. It makes you think that it's the middle of the day, which means that you don't sleep well. And your skin has photoreceptors, meaning they react to light. So if your TV's on while you're falling asleep, your body's like, oh, hey, it's in the middle of the day. Um, So I'm not sleeping. But then also in the daytime when there is light, your body knows it's daytime. So your body never actually gets to shut down and have nighttime if you always have blue lights on, if you always have electronics on. Which is why it can be really beneficial to have a blue light filter on your phone, on your computer, to turn the TV off when you go to sleep. All of those things are life-changing. And those are the five. So this is not going to be a super long episode, y'all, because I just want to give you those five things and challenge you. I double dog dare you 
double dog. Remember when you were a kid and you were like, I can't turn down a double dog dare. I'm going to look like a wimp and I am not a wimp. I am someone who takes double dog dares and does them because I'm tough, right? Seven-year-old me was like so proud of taking on a double dog dare. So adult me is going to be proud of you for taking on a double dog dare. I double dog dare you to pick one of these. Do things you enjoy. Drink more water. Chase the sunshine. Sleep. Eat real, whole, natural foods. For the next week, just prioritize doing one thing. And then after you feel better, because you're going to, you're welcome. Your health and wellness bestie, Amanda's helping you out. I want you to tell me how your life has changed. And then I want you to add on another thing until all of your basics, all of your foundations are dialed in. Then we can do the fun stuff like how many of you guys work out and work out and work out and you're not seeing any muscle growth? You're not seeing any fat loss? Like, I can tell you why you're not eating appropriately, you're not sleeping appropriately, and you're not getting in the sunlight, and oh yeah, you're probably freaking dehydrated. How many of you over-prioritize one thing and it throws the other ones out of balance? Like if you really eat well, let's say you're like, Amanda, my nutrition is dialed in, but you never do things you enjoy and you're dehydrated because all you drink is LaCroix or whatever and you're not sleeping like it's not enough you have to have all five of these things dialed in if you're only ever doing things you enjoy but you eat garbage and you sleep like garbage and your body's a desert because you're dehydrated um that's not good friend like it's not no we need all of these things dialed in I'm telling you (sighs) <sighs> okay, so how do we start changing those things? If you're like, Amanda, that's like super great, but um, I don't really know how to do those. We will go one by one. Drinking more water. That one is super, listen, if you don't know how to drink more water, like I literally do not know how to help you. So just drink more water. Drink more water. The other one, get outside. If you travel for work, roll your window down because window filters out some of the UVA and UVB lights. Rays, my bad. So roll your window down if you can. Um, Take a little walkie walk during the work day. Try and get outside at sunrise and sunset so you are syncing your circadian rhythm to the sun. This is going to help what? I hear you say. It's going to help sleep. I hear you sing to me into the void. Yes, you're right. It's going to help sleep. So we want to get outside as much as possible. Obviously, don't go burn. Don't go get a sunburn, but like sit outside, put your skin in the sunlight, even in the winter, because your body can bank vitamin D. So it is important to get outside. You are going to eat more whole foods, vegetables, fruit, meat, something that literally is natural, not packaged, cauliflower crust, y'all, like legit food, not like, oh my... My veggie oh God, veggie sticks. My veggie sticks say they're carrots and peas. Nope, they're bullshit. Nope, eat carrots and peas. Like, eat actual food. We're going to sleep, so set a bedtime. Yes, just like when you were seven years old and you were like, oh yeah, mom, I don't want to get to bed. Like, no, I'm not doing it. You are doing it. You're doing it. Go to sleep. Put a bedtime. Get off your phone right before bed. Turn the TV off. It will take a minute to adjust. And if you're like, oh, but Amanda, I love the noise. It's I, I don't fall asleep to the show. I fall asleep to the noise. Put a podcast on. I don't care. Or put a blanket over your TV. That way you still have the noise without the light. And then finally, doing things you enjoy. That one also pretty self-explanatory. And if you're like, oh my God, it's been so long that I don't even know what I enjoy. Like, I don't think that I enjoy anything. I would say pick something you used to enjoy and do that thing or something where you're like, well, that would be kind of cool to try and go do that thing. Like I have a client um, who is going to start kickboxing and they were like, oh my God, I've always wanted to kickbox. I never had the time. I couldn't, I couldn't do it before, but I can do it now. Oh my God, freaking great. Go do that. And then all these other things will compound and you'll have a very, very solid, beautiful foundation for your life. So choose one that you're going to do for the next week. And then 
tell me how it goes. You can message me on Instagram at Amanda underscore chills. Or even better, take a picture of you doing the thing and tag me on Instagram at Amanda underscore chills. I want to see it because I love when people are living their best life. Okay. That's what I want you to do. Yeah. All right. That is it, guys. So we're going to chase the sunshine. We're going to drink our water. We're going to eat our veggies and meat and whole foods. We're going to sleep and we're going to do things you enjoy. I promise you, like I pinky promise you, if you do these things, your life will get way, way better. Like way better just by doing these really simple things. Because once these are dialed in, then we can add the sparkle. Then we can add the the things, right? But you can't put like really good frosting on a crappy cake because you still have a crappy cake like it doesn't we want like a Publix cake over here where like the cake itself is freaking quality top quality right and we want the buttercream frosting which I would willingly commit murder for by the way if anyone has the recipe um I will I will literally beat someone up for it not that you have to like I'm not um, probably don't like call the police on me, but like I would love the buttercream frosting recipe from Publix. So if someone has it, let me know. But we want to be a Publix cupcake, not like a really crappy cake. And then, oh my God, the frosting is so good. We want the base to be solid. So also, if you guys haven't been to Publix ever in your life, um, please go. Please go to Publix and get their buttercream cupcakes and also the Cuban bread and take a picture of that and send it to me because they're the best things in life um okay you're welcome so y'all go be good choose a thing bye